Hello friends, my name is Nolia Michael and today I'm going to take you through finding the area of a triangle using the formula a half of height times base. This is the formula of finding area of any triangle. We have different kinds of triangle. For example, I have three kinds of triangles here. I have a right triangle, I have an isosceles triangle and this is an obtuse triangle. Now when you're finding the area of a triangle, you use a half of height times base. Now the question is, where is the height and where is the base? The line standing perpendicular to the ground or to the base, it is the height. And it makes an angle of 90 degrees with it, the base. So this is my height and this is my base. The height, it stands perpendicular. The height and this is the base. The base is a line where the triangle sits. And the height is the line standing perpendicular. Or oh, it makes 90 degrees with the base. On my first triangle, or my right triangle, the base is this. It, it is measuring 6 centimeters. And my height is measuring 7 centimeters. So in my formula, area, In my formula area is a half of height times base. My height is 7 centimeters and my base is 60 centimeters. So what do I do? I substitute in. This is a half times my height is 7 centimeters times my base is 6 centimeters. My second thing is to cancel out or to solve it mathematically. So I have, this is a half times 7 centimeters times 6 centimeters. Which number can divide 2? 7 and 6. Which number can divide 2? I think it is 6. So when I say by 2, 1, and by 2 in 6, oh, 6 divided by 2, I'll get... Three. So I have 7 centimeters times 3 centimeters. What is 7 times 3? 7 times 3 is 21. 21 centimeter times centimeter. We get centimeter square. That's why area is measured in square units because we have two units. All right. This is centimeter times centimeter. So we shall have centimeter power. 2 or centimeter square. Meanwhile, to this, my height is 6 meters and my base is 8 meters. So, half area is a half of height times times base. And then, if I have a half times my height is 6 meters and my base is 8, is 8 meters. My base is 8 meters. The second step is to cancel out 2 times 6 meters times 8 meters. Now, 6 can divide 8, I mean can divide 2, and also 8 can divide 2. So choose any number to divide with. I can say by 2, 1, 2 divided by 2 is 1, and 6 divided by 2 is 3. So I'll get 3 meters times 8 meters. Don't forget the units. If you skip up the units, your answer is wrong. So 3 meters times 8 meters. What is 3 times 8? 3 times 8 is 24. 24 meters times meters is meters squared or meters power by 2. I told you areas are measured in square units. Lastly, an obtuse triangle. It has its base as 4 decimeters. Remember I told you the base is the line where the triangle is sitting. And the height is the line standing perpendicular to the base. And it makes an angle of 90 degrees. I think you've been seeing. It's 90 degrees here, 90 degrees here, and 90 degrees there. So it's substituting in the formula area a half of height times base. So this will give us a half times the height is 10 decimeters. 10 decimeters times the base is 4 
decimeters. The second step is to solve or cancel out mathematically. This is 10 decimeters times 4 decimeters. I think 10 can be divided by 2 and also 4 can be divided by 2. Choose one number to divide with. So 2 divided by 2, you get 1. And 10 divided by 2, you get 5. So this is 5 decimeters times 4 decimeters. It will give you 5 decimeters times 4 decimeters. So you shall get, what is 5 times 4? It is 20. 20 decimeter times decimeter, you get decimeter squared. And that's my answer. Don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel, Nolia Mike at YouTube. Thank you.